So we will try to do a water absorption test for these two materials, hard rock and styrofoam. So please insert the material. Hard rock is very hard, it cannot really be compressed. Dump it in. And this one floats nicely, and the other one also floats nicely. Okay, then let's weigh them down with this weight. All right, so we come back tomorrow morning. So after a few seconds, we can already see air bubbles constantly leaving the hard rock, whereas the styrofoam, there's no air leaving. So three days later, we see what has happened. We remove the weight. One of them float up very fast. Okay, let's have a look at that insulation. That was the styrofoam. Mm -hmm. So that one is floating very well on the water still. Mm. Okay, great. And what about the rock wool? We can see it is was not floating and it's actually very heavy, much more heavy now and it's full of water. So basically not a good choice if your insulation gets immersed uh, in water. So for insulation materials that are exposed to water, it's very important to distinguish between exposure to water vapor versus exposure to water, meaning being immersed in water. So for flat roofs uh, where the insulation is on top of the roof, Often this insulation will be immersed in water and therefore please specify uh, the right standard for that because the water vapor standard will potentially just give you this completely soaked insulation with water which will not insulate anymore. Thank you.